Hello everyone, welcome to Oleoboard's background image library tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to discuss two different libraries. One is the empty room image library and the second is the texture image library. Now both of these libraries are actually really fantastic tools to use as a starting point for creating your 3D spaces on Oleoboard. We're going to begin with the empty room image library. Now in here you'll find various styles of spaces including uh, more industrial style looking spaces, you'll find more clean modern condo spaces, and also some really really fantastic outdoor spaces, like this one here. Now what's really great about using these empty room images is that if you are creating 3D room designs, they can act as your backdrop and kind of guide you through the use of perspective when you're creating your boards. So if you felt like you were struggling with creating a little bit of perspective and that illusion of depth in your in your mood board designs, these 3D room designs are extremely helpful for tricking the eye into creating that illusion of depth and also for guiding you into showing how, where you should be placing your products within the scene. So I'm just going to remove some of these boards these images here they're really and we're gonna start with this one behind our panel so this is pretty much as boring as it can get when it comes to your basic room design and I chose that for a reason because while we have all these really fantastic images in our empty room image library I also want to show you how you can jazz up a fairly boring space by incorporating some of the more textured elements so let's jump into the texture library and in it you will find various textures from barn boards to brick to stone walls um, you'll find chalkboards in there stainless steel there's quite a collection so just go ahead and have a look and browse through all the different options and I'm sure you'll find something that'll be a perfect accent to your room now in this case I've already chosen to add a brick wall into this very boring white cube of a space I've already sized it because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't spending too much time, um, you know, scaling things for the video. This tutorial is basically to show you how you can use these elements to enhance your space. So there we go. I've now got a really fantastic rustic brick wall that's added so much more character to what was originally a fairly dull space. So now that you have your background set up, you've got your textures added in to give it a little bit more life, you can start bringing in your furniture. And when you bring in your furniture and you're creating your 3D spaces, what you want to keep in mind is that you should always be starting your 3D room designs by filling out the back wall and moving forward. So you want to start from the back and then add furniture in as you move forward. And the reason I say this is because it actually helps to keep your layers organized so you're not jumping around too much in between them. And already this is starting to look like an actual space that could be lived in, which is fantastic. Because that is the goal at the end of the day. And you can add in a few extra little details like pillows and lamps and things like that. I'm really just trying to show you how the room, the empty room image library and the texture library can really enhance the overall design of your mood board. So here we have an actual livable space that you could jump onto that sofa and just enjoy. Now let's take away the brick wall and we'll take away the actual 3D room space and that's what you're left with. So already you can see there's such a difference by starting with, your act with the empty room images, incorporating a little bit of texture to make it your own, and there you have it, a much more detailed mood board design than just placing your items together on the canvas, on the empty canvas. So I hope you make use of them, and if you have any questions at all, always feel free to email us at info at oleoboard.com. We're happy to help.